November is traditionally the biggest month of game releases of the year, and it's no different in 2016. There are a ton of great games coming next month, and in this video, we'll be going over the top 10 games coming in November. Let's get right into this. Number 10, Darksiders War Master Edition. Darksiders was one of the more underrated games of last generation. Many considered it a hybrid between God of War and Zelda. And on the surface, that sounds amazing, but don't expect a game up to the level of either of those. What it is, however, is a very competent adventure game with solid combat, a decent story, and pretty good overall design. If it was a full $60 release, I would avoid it, but considering it's coming to the market at only $20, it's very much a solid purchase. Darksiders War Master Edition comes to PS4 and Xbox One on November 22nd. Number 9, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and Call of Duty 4 Remastered. Call of Duty at this point isn't everyone's favorite franchise, however, it'd be ridiculous to not include it in this list. Especially considering if you pick up the deluxe edition of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, you'll get a copy of Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remastered. And COD 4 is widely considered the best game in the series. At this point, you know whether or not you're a fan of Call of Duty. Some have grown tired of it, but with COD 4 being bundled, it's definitely a more enticing option to lapse fans as well. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare released on November 4th for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Right, let's see what we can find. Coming for you. Worker drones. Number 8, Watch Dogs 2. Watch Dogs was one of the most anticipated games of this generation, and with that enormous hype came with some disappointment after the game's release. It wasn't an awful game, just uninspired and a little redundant, felt a lot like the first Assassin's Creed game. Now we have Watch Dogs 2, and it seems as though Ubisoft is making a lot of strides with this one. A bigger and more engaging world, the story has potential with the main character trying to bring the city's CTOS system down. The first game set a solid foundation for the future of Watch Dogs, and it'll be interesting to see if Watch Dogs 2 can build on that. It releases on November 15th for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Now we're in the room, we just need to install one of our custom DeadSec boxes into this Bloom terminal. And we've completed our final objective. All that's left to do now is escape undetected. Each operation we undertake will give us more followers. And more followers will allow you to take on even bigger operations. So let's get off this pier and explore a little bit more. Tell me you fucked up their hardware. <laughs> I left an expensive little present in their system, and they're going to pay for it. Number 7, Planet Coaster. Planet Coaster is the latest game from Frontier Development who have been a pretty big part of the gaming world for over a decade. Planet Coaster in particular is seen as a spiritual successor to Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, which was released by Frontier in 2004. This game, much like Roller Coaster Tycoon, is all about construction and management. You can build different theme parks and roller coasters, and these can be shared online through the Global Village. Planet Coaster is looking to be one of the best PC exclusives of the year, and if you're a fan of Roller Coaster Tycoon, this will definitely be up your alley. It releases on November 17th. Number 6, Killing Floor 2. Killing Floor 2 will finally be releasing in its full state. The sequel to the hit 2009 game plays fairly similarly. It's a cooperative focused first person shooter where you and 5 other players fight hordes upon hordes of zombies. Pretty standard in gameplay concept, but it does have lasting appeal, especially if you do play with a few friends. The game can be played solo, but as is the case with games like this, it's much better to play them cooperatively. Killing Floor 2 comes to PC and PS4 on November 18th.
Number 5, Assassin's Creed The Ezio Collection. Assassin's Creed was one of the most prominent franchises of the last decade. Even though in recent years fans have been burned out of the games, the Assassin's Creed Ezio Collection is something to keep your eye on. It bundles what are probably the favorites of the series, Assassin's Creed 2, AC Brotherhood, and AC Revelations. AC 2 is considered by many to be the best in the series, Brotherhood was also very good, Revelations wasn't up to the standard the previous two set, but it was still a pretty good game. This is Ezio's entire story, and to get all of that content for $60, it's a value purchase, if nothing else. Assassin's Creed Ezio Collection comes to PS4 and Xbox One on November 15th, interestingly enough, the same day as Ubisoft's other big game, Watch Dogs 2. You flew, Ezio! You flew! You are the leader now. Unite the Assassins. Insieme per la vittoria! Vittoria! And take back Roma. If I want, I take! Kill the Assassin! I intend to write a book about you one day. If you do, Machiavelli, make it short. Welcome to Constantinia, Ezio. Fight with me. And show him what it means to cross the assassin. Number 4, Space Hulk Deathwing. Space Hulk Deathwing is one of the first person shooters that has gone really under the radar this year. Looking at the game, it's one of the most technically impressive games of the year, and the campaign looks to have some depth to it. There will obviously also be a multiplayer mode, so hopefully that turns out well. The game currently doesn't have an exact release date outside of the November window. It's coming to PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Number 3, The Walking Dead Season 3. A new Telltale's Walking Dead season is finally upon us. Season 3, dubbed A New Frontier, is expected to tie in all the possible endings from the previous season, but it'll also welcome new players to the series. This season will take place a few years after Season 2 and will feature an older Clementine, and we'll just leave it there for those of you that didn't play through the previous two seasons, which if you haven't, you definitely should. The Walking Dead Season 3, A New Frontier, is expected to release on November 15th. Number 2, Dishonored 2. The first Dishonored game was one of the great new IPs of last generation, a blend of action and stealth and putting the power in the player's hand, it was a great experience. Dishonored 2, by the footage we've seen thus far, looks a lot more of the same but more refined and fleshed out. The upgrading system this time has been changed to a skill tree allowing much more versatility in how you upgrade your character, your character being either Corvo Otano, the protagonist of the first game, or Emily Caldwin. Arcane Studios has said to really understand the story of the game, you need to complete Dishonored 2 twice. And with with games like this, that's to be expected. It releases on November 11th for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Take this! Wait, 
coward! Get to her! Finally, number one, Final Fantasy XV. Finally, the time has come. After a decade of waiting and one last delay that pushed Final Fantasy XV from September to November, the game is finally upon us. Final Fantasy XV looks to be one of the most ambitious Japanese RPGs ever. From a technical standpoint, it's absolutely jaw-dropping. The detail, lighting, shadows, it all looks ridiculously good. The gameplay has shifted to more of an action game, almost like a more in-depth Kingdom Hearts. The one mystery about Final Fantasy XV is the story. For a lot of people, that's what makes or breaks Final Fantasy. And with the FF13 trilogy, the story was kind of lacking and a little confusing. Considering that Square has poured tons of resources into developing the FF15 plot, they made an anime and a fully feature-length movie, I expect the story to be on point, but that's just speculation. We'll know for sure on November 29th, it released on PS4 and Xbox One. the immortal. So, you survived the Citadel, but you won't survive what I have in store for you. It's past time your legend came to an end. So that wraps up our countdown of the top 10 games coming in November 2016. What do you think? Which games in November are you the most excited for? Final Fantasy 15, Dishonored 2, Watch Dogs 2, The Walking Dead, there's so much to pick from. Comment your thoughts down below, thank you for watching and goodbye.